What's up everybody? Welcome to my channel. Welcome to the new subscribers. Welcome back to the old subscribers. Trying a new um, spread. And um, doing all the signs individually. And I'm on the sign of Capricorn. So I feel like you, some of you guys are still kind of holding on to, um, you know, looking into the future, trying to make things work with someone in your life. But it's challenging you because you know uh, deep down that some of you need to walk away from this. And it's kind of a decision that needs to be made because um, you know that there's some things that maybe you didn't see in the past or some things that weren't really said and it had to do with some lies, I think, and, you know, some deception and you're trying to get your confidence back and move in the right direction, but it really does involve a decision about repairing this situation or getting a loan or some kind of help with finances. And I think that you're going to be getting a message about this from someone and you're going to, you're going to be getting the money that you need. Um, so the present situation is the four of pentacles. So a home situation, um, stability, someone not really opening up about how they truly feel. Um, maybe you don't know what's going to happen with this situation and your advice is that you're going to be, um, getting a message about something maybe in three days or three weeks or something along the lines um, that you're going to be financially stable if that's what you're worried about. Um, some of you guys could be dealing with the Aries and they want, are still kind of holding on to, um, you know, the possibility of you guys. They want to send you a message about kind of working things out in the future as well, but there's some things they need to learn at this time and you can't really help them with that or vice versa. Um, the past influences are the Queen of Wands. So this could have been an attraction to someone um, that you thought you could kind of make this work with. And the outcome was that you didn't really know that how it was influencing your life. You felt like this person made you better. You felt like this person gave you really good advice. Um, you thought at one time that's what you wanted. Um, you thought this is, they wanted the same thing and they helped you with something and maybe there's going to be an opportunity in the future for this to come back together. Um, what's holding you back is the sun card. So this is some kind of enlightenment that you learned that maybe you didn't want to know about and someone kind of left this situation after that, you know, it took a really big change in direction from a situation or someone that you thought you would marry or you were married to. And it's been really challenging for you because along with this clarity comes this loss and regret, you know, a lot of arguing, a lot of things where you're not really, um, getting along with someone and that's not what you want. You guys want different things. Um, some might be more concerned about money. Some might be more concerned about themselves. And um, something you can't control is the devil card. Um, you can't control people's addictions. You can't control their actions, their impulses. Um, maybe there's some fear here that someone has. Someone's kind of surrounded by some toxicity. And in a way, you it's holding you back because... If you're staying in this situation, then the outcome is going to be the same kind of because it's like you want this to work out, but I think that it will in the future. But right now, maybe you need to leave um, to get this abundance in your life. There might be a job that you're going to be taking. Um, I think there might be children involved or someone had an affair or someone might be doing their own thing, like getting starting their own business and maybe it has something to do with like... Um, flipping houses or repairing houses or something like that and um that could be really beneficial to you you might have to travel um you're going to be getting a loan as well if that's what you're wondering um some of you guys just want to be happy and be loved and supported for who you are and, and i think that someone you dealt with really couldn't give that to you because 
of the things that they were dealing with, their demons that they have to, um, they have to deal with this on their own. And you can't change the outcome. You can't do it for them. And I know that you guys want to, but you cannot control things. And that's why you've had a lot of challenges because I feel like you've tried to help them, but, and some people have to learn on their own so they can be better in the future. Um, three, four, five is advice on what to do is the queen of swords. Um, be discerning with the people you let into your life with your decisions. Um, try to have more logic than emotion. Um, just know that there are better things to come, but it might involve you leaving for now. And this person knows what you want. And there was a pretty painful ending with someone that you loved and you don't really know what to do about that. And there might've been a death for some of you, but I just think that there's um, something that you didn't really want to end and you tried to fix it, but someone needs to learn or maybe go back to school and then this reunion can happen or something along that line. You can't see it because the emotions are very deep with this. And I think that it's about getting your personal power back, having the strength and knowing that some things need to change so more opportunities can come in. The achievable outcome that you can push for is the world card, the seven of pentacles, eight of wands, three of pentacles, nine of swords. You guys might be worried about a job offer but I think that you're going to get it, but it's going to involve you traveling and being patient, working really hard at this, working, showing that you can work with other people, um, having the confidence, you know, you might have more than one option, but there's one that you really do want to do. And, you know, you just are, you're going to be getting a message about a loan as well. And then you're going to have to, I think that there's going to be something that's going to happen really fast. And, um, you know, all the things you've been stressed out about, I think they're going to work out. Um, but don't be afraid of the things that you've learned or be afraid of leaving people who need to learn on their own. Um, because some people have to get to complete bottom no matter how much you care about them so that things can be balanced and started better. And I think that there's just been more than one second chance with this and it still kind of ends the same way. And I think in order for you to be balanced, it's like you have to leave this situation right now in order to be um, financially stable, even though, you know, this person's your soulmate and you want to talk to them. Maybe they moved away from you. And um, I think that you guys want this relationship. There's just got to be a lot of work done on someone's part. And I don't think that it's on your part. So you might be at a distance from someone. You might want to have a conversation with someone. I think you put a lot of time into something. You've tried to work on it. But someone has some mental health issues. Um, and it's been a really big challenge for you because you left this because you just didn't love them or they didn't love you and now there's going to be a reconciliation or there will be in the future you know um but walking away from people that are codependent on you and you know people that try to control you and knowing that you deserve love and, and telling that to this person you know having this conversation about this and that you might need to leave for right now um finances and career financial issues are affecting your love life right now you have a wedding. The situation involves marriage, so you guys probably were married to this person. Um, but in this separation from this person, um, you guys also had a past life relationship, or maybe you separated from someone that you did have a past life relationship, and you married someone else, and then there's children involved. There's a reconciliation that you need to kind of free yourself from because it's like it's based on attraction and not really love. And you kind of know that you need to pay attention to the red flags, regardless of how you feel. Um, learn how to love. There's new things coming in that are true love. And I think that um, someone might be getting engaged in the future. But this one that you're in right now, it's like you guys know who the one for you is. 
and you want to get back with them. You're just really far away and trying to handle things right now. And you, some of you guys really is true love. Maybe you didn't tell them that because you need to get yourself out of a situation that you're in right now in order to be in a new situation. But you'll be enlightened. I think that you guys are going to be happy and stable. So if you're stressed right now, Hakuna Matata, you know, keep the boundaries up with people and, um, you know, work together with someone. And um, I think that some of you guys keep going back to a situation because there's a, ch ch a child involved that you want to build a relationship with. And I think that it's just important to remind them that, You'll always be there for them. You know, you just have to go to work right now and you'll always be there to support them in any way that you can. Um, but you might have to leave it or, you know, telling them the truth about some things that are going on, you know. Um, and it could be a divorce for some of you. But I do see, you know... Some good things coming in, but you can't really run from the truth or the, the reality of the situation. Having this conversation about this situation and letting some old things die. Um, you know, trusting your intuition. You're definitely going to be enlightened about some people in your life. And there might be more than one choice that you need to have to make. Um, and then telling someone how you feel about them. But then there's some deception here. Maybe putting an end to this. And healing a family situation or healing from this is definitely important. Telling someone how you feel. And that maybe this something isn't working out in another situation. Um, and you need to go. But definitely movement and travel are involved here. So that is all I have for you. Good night.